So in this tutorial I'll show you how to run uh, a Watson service from uh, a locally running Java program. So first uh, you have to clone a GitHub repository of a Java SDK for Watson services. You go there uh, you can do it by googling and Java SDK Watson GitHub and most probably you'll get the first link to the repository. Here it is. This is the address. So you have to clone it, uh, copy this and run and git clone and you'll get this repository into your uh, file system. Here it is on my file system. I already cloned it. Um, here it is. This is the repository. I cloned it from here. And actually we need to clone it just for the sake of the examples. Uh, we don't actually need this code. So let's start coding. Open Eclipse and create a new Maven project. Maven project. Give it a name. So Eclipse creates a new project for you, a new Maven project, open the POM XML, go to the XML representation, and the only thing you have to do is to add a dependency, and you take this dependency from here, from the readme of this uh, repository, of this uh, project, um, the readme is quite long, and the uh, the first thing in this readme is the dependency that you have to add to your project. Just copy it, paste it in your form XML, save, and now you can start using the services from Eclipse. Um, so, uh, we have cloned this um, uh, project to our file system and we need the example. We'll um, demonstrate a service called Concept Insights. This service, um, this service uh, gets as input a text and returns Wikipedia pages that are um, so called, let's say, mentioned in this text or can be linked to this text either because they explicitly appear in the text or uh, somehow implicitly connected to the text. So concept insights and we have here a Java class which is an example for concept insights. We have to copy it. Copy it to our project. The project that I have now created is actually here. This is the project. And I copy this class to my project. And it appears here. Now in Eclipse, refresh the project and you see the class. And there are completion errors, of course because I just made a copy paste, the package is run, so I just fix the package. In addition, uh, this import is missing, so I press Ctrl space and get the import automatically. Now the class can be compiled, and the only thing we have to do is to set here user and password. So. To do that, I go back to this project in GitHub. As I said, it has a long README. 
the first thing uh, for which we needed the readme is this dependency. Next, we have this link. So what we have to do is sign up. You click sign up and you get a free trial for 30 days. Account, you have to fill here your details and you get a free trial account. I've already did it. I've already done it. So, uh, so what I have to do is to log in. I log in and I put my user and password. And I'm in, in Bluemix. So, Bluemix is where the services run for me, but I run locally a Java program that connects to Bluemix and to the services and runs them. So, what you have to do in... This is Bluemix dashboard. By the way, uh, look at the URL. You can see here EUGB. You might get some other uh, URL. Anyway, when you are requested, not in this tutorial, but in some cases you are requested to enter a URL of Bluemix, make sure that it contains the right component uh, of the URL if you, have, you, if you are in an, an other region, not in EUGB, then you have to put your region when it's uh, necessary. Now we don't need it. So, let's proceed. This is a dashboard of Bluemix and we push on use services or API. Services, is, services are, are actually what's on the products that run on Bluemix and, and perform tasks. And you can see here that the, these are what's on services. By the way, there are other services. You can see here other types of services. We are interested in what's on. And you can see here Several services, um, concept expansion, concept insights, dialogue, language translation, and some others. We now uh, demonstrate the concept insights. Let's click it. And what we are going to do is to create an instance of this service uh, to run in our organization in Bluemix in our space in Bluemix. So what I have to do is just to click this create button. You can see here that the service name, this is actually the instance name of the service will, which will be created for me. It was automatically given by Bluemix. You can change it. Okay, let's click create. Now I have an instance of the service uh, on my space in Bluemix. My space in my organization in Bluemix. And here I can see the some overview of the service. I can click docs and see some documentation. But what I need here is service credentials. And here I can see a username and a password. Um, Note that this is not the username that you use to log in to Bluemix. This is an automatically created username just for this instance of this service in my space in, in the Bluemix. And for each instance there are other, there are other username and password. And so what we do is to copy this username to the appropriate place in the code and copy the password and that's it that's the whole story now I can run this uh, example so run configuration uh, Java application new and run. That's it. And it worked. 
Now, what this concept insight service does, as I said, is to find uh, Wikipedia pages that correspond to the given text. So the given text is this. IBM Watson won the Jeopardy television show hosted by Alex Trebek. Let's see the results. So you can see here that Concept Insight Service found for us four Wikipedia pages. One is Jeopardy, Alex Trebek, Watson Computer, Television Program. It's some, uh, somewhat uh, weird that it did not find IBM, but let's see the, these pages uh, in Wikipedia, in the English Wikipedia. Jeopardy. And you can see that indeed this page exists. And similarly, Alex Trebek here, the page of Alex Trebek. Um, so that's it. Um, and of course, you can run other services. Um, you just have to instantiate them as we have seen earlier and this is how to do it as simple as possible.